Hello friends, welcome to my channel Block On. In this video, I am going to demonstrate PNS guided sacral plexus block, the Mansour's approach and its modification. The parasacral approach is the most proximal approach to block the sciatic nerve. It consistently block the two terminal branches of sciatic nerve and the posterior femoral cutaneous nerve of thigh. It is relatively easy to perform and has a higher success rate. The patient is placed in a lateral decubitus position. The dependent limb is usually kept straight while the limb to be blocked is flexed at hip and knee joints. It is a deeper block, hence appropriate sedation and analgesia are mandatory to ensure patient's comfort throughout the procedure. The posterior superior iliac spine and the ischial tuberosity are identified and a line joining these two points is drawn. In Mansour's parasacral approach, the needle insertion point is 6 cm ordered to posterior superior iliac spine on this line. In the modified approach, this line is divided into three parts. The point of needle insertion is at the junction of proximal one-third and distal two-third on this line. I do practice and teach this approach. The choice of type, volume, and concentration of local anesthetic should be based on the build, general condition of the patient, and the indication of the block. I use a concentration of 0.5% or above for sole anesthesia, and for analgesia purpose, 0.25% or below. About 20 to 25 mils of local anesthetic is usually required for this block. So I'm going to demonstrate the sacral plexus. My point of middle entry will be the junction between upper one third and lower two third of the line joining posterior superior iliac spine and the ischial tuberosity. Okay, I have already uh, given some local. So one more important safety feature is uh, I keep it open to the air. Now I am going absolutely perpendicular to the skin. In 3 0 1.5. Just perpendicular to the skin. So this is the gluteus contraction. So I am in the right track. I will go inside. There we go. You can see the which is dorsiflexion mainly. Can you decrease the current now? Yes, decrease it slowly. Yes, yes, it's still coming at 0 0.5, 0 0.4. Decrease it up to 0 0.2. Okay, 0 0.2. Is it coming? No, it is not coming. So I am not inter my needle is not intraneural. Decrease it up to 0 0.4. Yes, we can see the dorsiflexion. Yes, at, at this level, dorsiflexion is also accepted response. So I will go for the injection. So it's still coming. On aspiration, it is negative. So the moment I will inject one cc of local anesthetic, there will be no contraction anymore. That is positive Raj sign. Show there. Okay. 
have injected almost 10 cc so if you give good amount of local anesthetic you can see the back flow also we will check every 3 to 5 cc you have to aspirate and then inject the evoked motor response is usually obtained at a depth of 6 to 8 cm our goal is to achieve a visible or palpable twitches of either hamstring calf muscles foot or toes at the current intensity of 0.3 to 0.5 milliamps the contraction of gluteus maximus muscle at more than 0.5 milliampere current indicates direct muscular stimulation and two superficial needle placement you need to advance the needle here the inferior gluteal nerve can get stimulated either superficial or deep to the piriformis muscle the contraction of gluteus medius muscle indicates stimulation of superior gluteal nerve the needle needs to be redirected caudally the stimulation of obturator nerve is identified by adduction of thigh which indicates deep and medial needle placement and stimulation of pudendal nerve indicates caudal and medial needle placement the needle is redirected cephalar and laterally contact with the bone indicates contact with wings of sacrum or iliac bone superior or near the greater sciatic notch the needle is withdrawn and redirected slightly caudally and laterally please remember advancing the needle more than 2 cm might cause injury to the pelvic viscera and the vessels thanks for watching catch you in the next video until then keep blocking keep rocking